is going on guys and welcome to the first episode of IPL Weekly Season 6? Season 3, Sahil? What, what are we calling this season? I mean, are we, are we really calling it Season 6 even though we've only completed two seasons? Yeah, I mean, and then, and then if you want to be really technical about it, it could be Season 7 because the World Cup fails. And that could have been season six, but... <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, we have an exciting episode today. We are breaking down the draft that we just completed um, over on Twitch slash Discord. We have the coach of every single team, except for the Chicago Grambles, uh, here with us to talk through their draft. So why doesn't everyone go around and quickly introduce themselves? We'll start off with uh, Byron Munchlax and Steven. Hey, what's going on? My name is Steven. I'm the head coach of Byron Munchlax, um, rating champ, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's up? Who's up next? Oh, we're just going in order. Of Richie, the... Richie, you introduce oh, yourself. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Richie. I'm the coach of the Granville Gummies, uh, formerly coach of the Beach City Corefish. Uh, the Corefish no longer fight. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been here since what? What was it? Season two point five or whatever. I've been here for. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. It, maybe, it, was, it was season two. It was season two. Maybe one two. season that got completed, but yes. anyway. Yes, yeah, so you were here for one <laughs> season that got completed. Yeah. Okay, let's go in order of the doc on the bottom there. So Jared's up next. All right, all right. Hey, I'm Jared, uh, coach of the Hollywood Haluchas, uh, former champion, <laughs> current champion, still a champion. Five-year rating champion. Yeah, yeah five-year rating <laughs> champion. <laughs> I love the IPL, uh, so it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I'm Sahil. Um, I'm head coach of the Milwaukee Muirs and also the commissioner of this fine league. <laughs> <laughs> you would think after a league has folded like, multiple times, you'd have a change of power. Okay, yeah, but uh, I, it's up to me to just do damage control, right? Okay. I, can't, I can't put a public... Can't put a bad public image for us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, next up was uh, uh, Akash, as I mentioned, the coach of the Chicago Grambles. But then I am up. I am Nihal, aka Big Time Brownie, the coach of the Green Bay Yampers. I basically do all the work behind the scenes for the league while Sahil. No, no. no. Okay, you just started doing that like two days ago. So. Okay. <laughs> Dion, you're up next. Okay. My name is Dion. I am the only non-American head coach of the London Lanterns. Yes, you're the international, an international Pokemon league. Yeah, yes. that's yeah. Yeah, he puts the eye in IPL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. And oh, last you make not... me blush. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Matt, that was your cue. <laughs> I wasn't. I really, I didn't realize this could. Okay, yeah, um, I am Matt. I am coach of Toledo Team Rocket, runner-up last year, and I don't know. There's not a whole lot uh, about me. Okay, cool. So, um, just for a little bit of background on the league and the draft. So, we each got uh, 900 points, and uh, we had to draft 10 Pokemon. And we had to draft one Pokemon from uh, tiers 1 through 4. And I think we all ended up picking... We all ended up having to pick something from every tier. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's start by, you know, just talking about how, how, how do you guys feel like the draft went overall for you? What were your what are your initial thoughts on the teams without going into too much detail? I got my boy Necrozma back, and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Necrozma is the reigning MVP of the IPL, and it was very annoying. Yeah, it ended up with the most kills, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, was, it, was, it was gross. Yeah, that was I was. Yeah. yeah. And it was in like our third tier last year, so no one really I don't think expected that. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it just completely. I was, it was like, waiting for it. I was... Beautiful. Yeah, why, why didn't anyone pick it before him? I have questions for him. <laughs> why didn't no one stop him? <laughs> exactly. Well, it was like, I picked it I picked it before like anyone started making whatever tier it was in. That's true. Like, I picked it like a round earlier than anyone else would have because I would have picked it like even like first or second round had, I, like, had it been up. That's true. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, so, uh, also, I, something I forgot to mention is we are broken. There's eight teams in the IPL um, that we, you know, we kind of went through all the coaches. Uh, we're broken down into two conferences, the Canto Conference and the Gala Conference. Um, so, sorry, did I cut someone off? Was someone going to say something? Keep going. Okay, cool. So why don't we just get into each team? We'll start off in the uh, Canto, Canto Conference, conference with uh, the reigning <laughs> champion, Steven, and the Bayern Munchlats. Okay, okay. Um, 
Yeah, so I mean, like, when I started off with the draft, I knew I wanted either Dragapult or Corviknight as my first pick. And I didn't expect that they'd both... Like, I, I expected one of them to go uh, in between there. Uh, but I picked up Dragapult because that was the one I wanted the most. And I saw that Corviknight wasn't going. And so I kind of, like, a little bit impulsively, I decided to go with Corviknight. Uh, and so from there, I just started to kind of try and flush things out on the way down. I think I got a lot of Pokemon I'm pretty happy about. Like, on a lot of the newer Pokemon that I'm excited about using. Um, I, I definitely look at my team now. I'm noticing there's a few patches I'm gonna need to need to seal up, but uh, we're, besides that, I'm pretty pleased with what I picked. Yeah. So Steven, you had the which pick were you? You second. Second pick. Second pick. Yeah. yeah so you have the second pick. So Dragapult was obviously still available there. Like you said, Corviknight. I'm surprised it didn't go, but because we were all we all really could only pick up max of two tier twos. Um, a lot of things were still available uh, uh, later on. Um, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Your team, honestly, your team is scary because I think Senescorch is really underrated. Uh, that's 100%, a po- that's yeah. a Pokemon that I really actually wanted to take. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited about Senescorch. Yeah, so why don't you tell us what Senescorch does, Steven? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, to start off, it has Flash Fire, which is pretty nice. So, you can um, pseudo fire it. Uh, beyond that, Heavy Duty Boots means you can use the thing with rocks, which is just excellent. It's got Fire Lash, it's a great stat move that hits hard off a of high base. I forget what the base attack stat is, it's pretty high. Um, and beyond that, I mean, it can coil. Uh, Power Whip? It can, basically, it's a, it's a very oppressive Pokemon, which I very much like. It does not let up too much pressure. I, You know, so I don't know what every, everyone, anyone else can jump in here to, but I think the real star of this team is Delibird. I mean, 100 percent. When Steven when Steven chose Deli Bird, man, it leads over. Hey, my only regret. <laughs> my only regret was picking it first. I I, I picked the first thing that someone else was gonna take it, but I think that, that was kind of a that was a little boneheaded of me. But it did work out anyway. But um, <laughs> I thought you were gonna take. Oh, so hear, hear, hear me out, dude. Hear me out. Dude, here's why it's decent, right? So it's flying types. So you get you get that uh, ground resist. It's got. Um, uh, it's got heavy duty boots, so you don't worry about rocks. Um, it can do spikes, it can rapid spin, which is very nice. Um, it's got a lot going for it, but it's really awful, I'll, I'll give you that. But, like, you know, <laughs> as long as we're all clear on this. It can do its job. I mean, have you ever, have you ever encountered a random game where Jellybird didn't, like, do something? Like, the answer is no, it always does something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't... I think I always... I don't think random battles is the, the best place yeah. to get your... Well, you'll see, you'll see, but... I mean, yeah, maybe uh, that's something is being outsped and instantly killed, but... Right, so well, it's... Well, well, I think, um... I shot, I'm, I am gonna make don't some, uh, some... Uh, some free agency moves, I think. I think a couple, couple holes I want to fill up, because I'm noticing now that I don't have a water type, which is a little bit rough, but, um... Overall, it's not too bad. Yeah, you know, honestly, I think... Uh... Not many. I, how many? I don't know how many people have like really great water types this year. I have Toxpex. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, pre Marina, baby. Yeah, you have Pre Marina. Yeah, pre- Tosh has Pelio. Oh yeah. Oh wait, you have Milotic and uh, Lander. We'll get to you. So anyone else? Anyone else got thoughts on Steven's team or you know Steven's just overall dominance? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's probably just going to do really well. Play. Yeah, I mean, I, like... I, I was thinking ahead. maybe like for certain. Like assuming maybe like a very dominant special sweeper, like maybe you don't have a lot of switch ins for like. I don't even know though because I mean like. Hey, I see what you're saying. The, yeah, you don't have like a super high special defense stat on really any Pokemon in your team, but I think your your, your your type, I mean your types will I think deal with that, and if you make the right predictions and stuff, you'll be fine. Right. But that's just something that jumped out to me. So I mean. Yeah, and then there are a lot of. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, there's a lot of, like, Volt turn on my team as well, which I'm going to take advantage of to kind of get myself out of the situations, but... I mean, Clefairy has terrible stats, but, it, you know, if, you, if you're fully invested and you stick an Eevee Light on it, it's actually pretty good. That's true, actually. That's not bad. So, um, but, uh, you know, Clefairy, Clefairy is a decent Pokemon. You know, it gets its own recovery, it also so can be a Wish Passer. It's a Cleric with Aromatherapy, it gets rocks, um, and some, you know, some coverage, too. So, I'm sure you'll use that well. Yes, and at the end of the day, it's Steven, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Steven should grow All this praise, I can't handle it. Every time, every time someone comes up with like some gimmick to beat Steven, it's just like, he's somehow, like the one time with, um, 
what's in oh, space God. whenever Richie was boosting up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we'll, we'll talk about that as soon. Dude, we're okay. Yeah, we'll talk about it. But like that, that was planned for months. Like I, I knew I want to do that eventually. <laughs> that was so, so sad. About it. I mean, the only time I ever really remember Steven being in a predicament is when he crit Sahel's mute with that dragon claw. It's true. That, that was that was a very. I think about that all. That time. was a very unfortunate game. That was a very wonky game. <laughs> yeah, but I did it. Yeah. Let's move on to the uh, Granville Goomies, formerly yeah, the Beach City maybe. Corfish. Uh, Richie um, is the coach of, of them. So why don't you talk us through your pre-draft process and your, yeah. <laughs> your uh, <laughs> in-draft process. So the thing about me this season is that I am pretty out of the loop as far as what's going on in competitive Pokemon goes. So. I loaded up a, a website, you know, smogon.com slash stats slash 202 gen 8 OU 1825. So basically I just <laughs> 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 and up there at number one it says Clefable. So that's that's where I started it out. And then um <laughs> from, from you there, did it. <laughs> from, yeah. From there I just I tried to I tried to do good type coverage and be balanced as far as where I was allotting my points for the different tier values. Uh, I did sneak in my Reuniclus pick, uh, which that's the um, the aforementioned uh, setup counter that, that Steven uh, brought. Is I, I had brought my Reuniclus that uh, had uh, Magic Guard, is that the ability? Yes, yes. Uh, leftovers as its hold item, and it uh, had Recover, Acid Armor, Calm Mind, and Signal Beam. <laughs> because because uh, there are no immunities to bug type. I remember uh, that. <clears throat> and, and if not for the move Punishment, which doesn't exist in this generation, I think that that, I think that Reuniclus would have, uh, would have been solid. Would have, but thankfully, <laughs> I got the, uh, what's it called? I got the Pokemon Gale of Darkness XD Lugia, which knows punishment. And so I knew, I knew it was a move. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was talking to Sahil from my other league. Like, I have a Jenner now, so if we wanted to do a Wi-Fi league, we could. But I think we'll stick with Showdown for now. Um, so what Maybe I... for playoffs. Oh, Ooh. that's a really good call. Ooh, I like that. Um... But, okay, so let's, your team here, you have Clefable, Reuniclus, Seismitoad, Incineroar, Flapple, Driftblim, Duraljadon, Avalog, Shadonic, and Slugu. So the first thing mm -hmm. that jumps out to me, you know, not to be overly critical, because, you know, you don't necessarily need speed anymore. Oh, but yeah. you <laughs> don't have really any speed. Yeah, the, these are these are a bunch of slow boys that you cannot knock over with a pail of water. These are, yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is just a, a sort of sturdy team that uh yeah it sure i sure didn't pick anything that's fast but then the next thing you think of is i mean trick, trick room, room potential yeah, Reuniclus. Reuniclus, so. yeah oh yeah yeah that that's what i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> so there's and... also uh there's also two gravity in case i want to use flapple's miniature move that does 50 percent more damage under gravity oh that's true <laughs> Grab oh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, grab thanks cool. isaac Newton. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, honestly, you're, you're, this team, this team is, I mean, incredibly, incredibly annoying because not only do you have a bunch yeah. of, of bulk, you have two Pokemon that have the potential of having Magic Guard. You have one with the potential of Regenerator. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. a very reliable Cleric to in, in Clefable yep. to just get rid of any status. And a couple straight up recovery users. Yeah. So, you know, and I'm sure, like, you're going to be sporing with Shinotic at some point, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not... Shinotic was a very, very nice choice for yeah, Lucky. That was a really good pick. I agree. Any other thoughts on Richie's team here, guys? I'm annoyed at myself already. <laughs> I, I, th I think it will mesh well, just looking at it. I think it's going to be a fun team to use. Yeah. And a really awful team to play. When did you, did you like immediately decide to go like pretty low tier, but more balanced than like the front loaded approaches of others? Yes, I, I, I knew that I didn't want to go for two tier ones just cause I felt like that was too, too limiting as far as the picks late went. You know what? Add, add us next time. We're right here. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 You'll get to watch I, I, our facial reactions when this goes on YouTube. I added you in the Twitch chat. 
That's right. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> also, Duraldrodon. Duraldrodon's a very good Pokemon. Um, it's yeah, I'm excited yeah. to see what it does. I don't know a lot about it. I wanted a offensive okay. steel type. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun to use. It's really good in doubles, so I'm excited. I, I haven't seen it too much in singles, but um, I'm sure it can do a lot of the same things. So, cool. Um, let's move on to the only other champion besides Steven in IPL history. Oh, dang. Jared and the Hollywood Halucha. So Jared picked up Aegislash, Primarina, Rotom Heat, Phalanx, Grimmsnarl, uh, Espeon. Why is it Grimmsnarl? I feel like there should be something else in between there, but whatever. Vileplume, no. Vespaquin, Turtonator, and Swoobat. So. Yeah, yeah. So basically, up until the moments, like the seconds before the draft, I was planning on picking Dragapult, Dragapult first, mm. and uh, then I looked at Aegislash's like sets and options, and I was like, that seems pretty fun. So picked up Aegislash, uh, and then from there, the Primarino Road of Heat was nice. It was nice to have wheel picks for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and so that got me like some Rotom Heat weird stuff and then Primarina for like a special attacker. Uh, maybe a more consistent than Aegislash. Slash. And then also I don't really know that much, so I was like reading on the fly. Uh, and then I picked up Phalanx Grimmsnarl because they were both there. Screens enables Phalanx to do wonky shit. <laughs> so I'm excited to run that. And then what? Espeon Vileplume? That was kind of to fill type deficiencies that I saw on my team and Vileplume to have something a little bulkier. And then the last three were just like, you know, just tier five, but Turtonator's cool and I'm hoping that I can make it <laughs> at some point during the season. So, yeah, you got Shell Self Mask, Rapid Spin. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that Pokemon's rad. For those of you who don't know, uh, Phalanx has a move called No Retreat, which allows it to raise boost every single stat uh, with the caveat of it can't switch out after that. So, it's a really interesting Pokemon. Like you said, with screens, yeah. I, I could see it, you know? Yeah, I use that move a lot in my, like, casual playthrough of Sword, and... Great was... animation. Yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrifying. And so, you know, hoping to bring some of that energy to our battles. And honestly, I'm really glad it was drafted. I, I, I'm glad that we re-tiered it so it was drafted. I'm excited to see I that. love those little guys. It's great. I was so excited. That was the Pokemon that I was probably most excited to see when I saw it in the game. Right, the overworld, like, it's a really yeah. cool looking Pokemon in the overworld. Yeah. I was it's like, what the hell is that? I, know, I was like, am I playing Mario? I thought it might have been multiple yeah. Pokemon. I was like, well, I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. That was really cool, yeah, I agree. Um, but I, your team, honestly, like, it looks really solid. Um, I, I think overall, I'm gonna be interested to see how many people bring their lower tier Mons week to week. Um, yeah. I hope. I mean, I think it, you might. You might have to bring him. Honestly, I mean, I, I definitely will have to bring him. But um, <laughs> dude, other people, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's no. been the the trouble in past seasons of IPL is that just there are Pokemon. There were we always had like four Pokemon on our roster that were just practically never gonna show up. Right. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Any other thoughts on uh, the Hollywood Haluchas? I think Jared always manages to draft pretty handsome teams, and this is no exception. <laughs> this team is, this team is know, excuse me, Grimmsnarl is so not handsome. <laughs> I mean, it's always... Neither is Turtonator. The cheerleader effect. There's always, there's always Put Primarina a, and Rotom Heat on either side of that point. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's always a Chewbacca in the group. So. That's true. Right, okay. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll have a handsome logo to match his handsome team. Well, I, you know, I'm pretty happy with my logo. <laughs> also, I don't know who added that star you, that wasn't there before, and uh, the star you represents the championship you won. Right. That's. Oh, okay, okay. So you get star you's instead of gold ring. Yes. Yeah. I'll take the gold ring next time. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the commissioners team, uh, the Milwaukee Mewers. Yeah. You want to talk about your team? Want to run it down? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, going in, I was pretty confident that I wanted, like, I just didn't like my type synergy at all last season. So I wanted to go with a fire, water, grass kind of core for, like, some of my best Pokemon, and that's what I ended up being able to do with Ferrothorn, Toxapex, and Darmanitan. And 
I think it's definitely... In the past, I've tried to leverage lower tier walls and pivots, but this year I was like, I don't want to even have, like, I, I'll be honest, I just generally like having a specially defensive wall and a physically defensive wall. That's just how I, like, that's just one, I'm just, that's, that's what I'm most comfortable. And Ferrothorn and Toxapex allow me to do that pretty much against any team any week, just because they're so good. I mean, they, yeah, they just have really good movesets, they're really good typings, they're really hard to break down. Um... And then going down further, I was just trying to get more offensive mons since I had the defensive mons handled up front. Um, Venusaur, I actually drafted because I thought Torkoal was a 40. Uh, so oh, I, I was going to try to get some sun in there with Darmanitan, um, but then that... So that probably... Oh, with, uh, with Meowstic Mail, you can get pranks through sunny days, which is, isn't... Yeah, uh, same thing. Isn't oh, I like the way you think. Okay. <laughs> you, just gave, you just gave him a good idea. Yeah. That was intentional, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I was totally thinking about those last four picks. Yeah. Right. That was why that was your first yeah. pick. Your hot pick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel I feel pretty good about it the first six Pokemon, which is all you need to bring into a battle. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, so, even then, like, looking at your low tier picks, none of them were bad choices. I mean, yeah. the next trick is great. Yeah. Uh, now, Stick Mail has obviously has some utility to the prankster. Uh, Mime Gagaler can rapid spin. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Haunter. Yeah, yeah Haunter's not bad. I mean, it's like right. you, you probably won't bring it, but it's yeah. not bad. Right. Yeah. It, it's a uh, it's it's an earthquake or ground resist, which your team is a little bit lacking in, so it, it might come in handy. Oh yeah. Like, Haunter has levitate still, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, totally intentional, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think honestly, like for how little you knew, like even with ten seconds left in your pick. I think you oh. actually did okay. You were like freaking out with like no time yeah. left. You should on the clock. Yeah, I mean, I think so because of just like the fact that there we couldn't do as much with our points and we were more scrapping for lower tier mods. Did you guys feel like you didn't get sniped at all? Because I really never felt like I got what? sniped. Well, I did. Uh, what, how did you get Steven, sniped? Steven had Quillfish taken from him. I want to send a sword. Yeah, I didn't well, like, okay, gotcha. but, you know, but well, I wasn't. I don't think I was gonna pick Quillfish that turn. I can't remember. It was something I was looking at. I, I, didn't, I didn't get majorly sniped. I'll say that. Like, Stephen almost took Grimmsnarl from me, but I thank Grimmsnarl I, 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 for not getting taken. I know. Oh, I should have done it. But yeah, <laughs> I think we're look too generic then. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and I, I, just, I actually just, I'll just say one more thing about Dermanitan before we move on. Dermanitan's always been, like, one of my favorite Scarfers to use. Like, Flare Blitz, it's like a truck, even for something that resists it with, with the sheer force boost and everything. Oh, yeah. So, I, and it gets yeah, Switch Initiative, and I just like that Pokemon, so. It's, it's right. got nothing but better this generation, too. Yeah, exactly. Too bad its counterpart didn't make it in. But... Mm -hmm. Rip. Next up is the Chicago Grand Bulls. So Akash isn't here, so I'll run through his team. Uh, he drafted Keldeo, Kyurem, Rotom Wash, Toxicroak, Mawile, Rhyperior, Shedinja, Glaceon, Glalie, and Noctowl. All Pokemon introduced Gen 5 or beforehand. So that <laughs> tells you something, probably. <laughs> um, Akash, he, he was big into battling in Gen 5. And then, I think at the beginning of Gen 6, Gen 6 too. too yeah. um, and then he sort of dropped off, so I... <laughs> Makes sense. But, I mean, his first three picks are three powerful Pokemon. Um, yeah. Oh, are you going to say anything to uh, ask? Yeah. No, 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 I'll I'll say, yeah it's, great. it's a lot of ice. Oh, yeah, his team, his, his team is threatening. I don't know, but yeah, there's a lot of ice. I, don't know, I think I think he kind of uh, I think he got bored at the end there and just started throwing out <laughs> 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 Like, even if he was just going alphabetically from Glacian to Glacian. <laughs> 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 He, no, he, he developed the, a program so, to just to put the next Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Keldeo Kyurem is that's so threatening, and with, with Rotom Wash to support that, like that is going to be a hard team to beat. It will be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kyurem gets I, Dragon Dance as well. Yeah, so, Kyurem gets Dragon ahead. Dance. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Keldeo in draft leagues, just because it's like there's one, there's like two sets you can run. You're right. It is pretty uh, one one track minded, but but I mean now it's even like faster than it used to be, and hits even harder than it used to. So like. Uh, and Kyurem can survive any hit and can Oko back with almost anything. Right. Just to be clear, uh, it didn't get any buffs, but everything else got worse, so. Yeah, right, exactly. But, I mean, it's just it's like, yeah, to me, those two people with the support of Rotom Wash, um, just be, I don't know, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be, he's gonna have a tough team if he plays it well. Yeah, yeah. The problem is everything else dies to fire-type moves, but 
did something change oh, with Rhyperior? Or is well, why is it a hundred? Because I remember being like NU. So, there's no, there's it's no Pokemon. Okay. It's the nature of the meta, yeah. I mean, like, okay, Rhyperior's gotcha. still good. It is. Like, it's, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a good Pokemon. Like, for, for how the meta is right now, I like it. Okay. It, it hits pretty well. hard, too. Very hard. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is, oh, it's me. It's the Green Bay Yampers, um, formerly Columbus Shrew Pokemon Club, but we relocated to Green Bay. Um, I'm excited about that. But we drafted Tyranitar, Exodrill, Mana Buzz, Bronzong, Salazzle, Quagsire, Rotom, Rotom Fan, Dusclops, Ice Q, and uh, Roselia. So initially I was going to draft Mew and Grimmsnarl with my first two picks, but which honestly might have probably been better, but I, I saw... Uh, Tyranitar and Excadrill, and I was like, you know what? I've been having a lot of success with Sand in my draft leagues, so I'm just gonna go for it. And, you know, Tyranitar is a great Pokemon. It sets up the Sand, and Excadrill in the Sand hits really hard. It's a rapid spinner. It can, uh, Swords Dance and whatnot. Um, and then Mandibuzz, I thought, paired well with it because it's a ground resistance, or a ground immunity, excuse me, um, which I kind of wanted. It can defog um, and roost, and it's just overall pretty hard to kill. Bronzong, another levitator, uh, can also be fireproof. Um, also, I think, uh, I don't know, I had it on a team with um, Tyranitar, uh, Landorus, and Bronzong, and I really liked that, and it was really hard to play around for my opponents. Uh, and then Salazzle, I needed some speed and some attack, and then from there on out, it was just sort of like, okay, let's just pick Pokemon that I can kind of work with, so. Um, the Quagsire is pretty good. I think I needed a Water Absorb Pokemon with Salazzle, Tyranitar, and Excadrill. Um, I was just about to say that. Yeah, Quagsire is actually like a really solid. Yeah, like, like uh, unironically, uh, yeah, it looks like it's, it would be better for you to run Water Absorb than uh, than unaware. 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 Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, and then Rotom Fan can you well, know uh, he can Volt Switch around, and Roselia is also another Water Resistant. It's actually decent. It's a Spike Setter and a Toxic Spike Setter, and. Um, you know, Ice Q, I've been using an Ice Q team in OU, and I'm like literally like 25 and 5 with that team. So I I really like that Pokemon. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even think I know what that Pokemon is. It's got a cube <laughs> on its head. Oh, I am familiar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. If it was called Ice Cube, we could have avoided this. But... <laughs> what? What did oh, you say? Wow. Because then you would have just known right away, because all Richie had to say was it's got a... Oh, nice. you said Ice Cube. Okay, I didn't hear this. Yeah. I was thinking, like, Rescue in a weird way, so I thought maybe it was like a St. Bernard uh, Pokemon, but oh, yeah. it was just way if off. Only. Yeah. Way off. Well, Dusclops is bulky too, Willow Whisper. So, yeah, any other thoughts on my on my team, on my draft? I mean, I've been taking shots yeah, so on my... I, I... Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, like, be real, be real. Mm -hmm. Did... Did you understand how the math broke down when you picked the two? <laughs> two no, two no, I, like... I never, I didn't calc anything, Brian. Well, no, okay, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I kind of knew. I like didn't know. Not, I didn't know exactly to the number, but I knew it would not be smart to draft two tier ones right away. <laughs> uh huh. Um, but then, which is why I wanted to draft Grimmsnarl with my second pick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We, we're so here now. Is. We ended up at this point. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, that first six, like, if you ran that first six against me, I don't, you know, like, no off the top, I don't know what to do, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think you've got, like, um, half your team is pretty, uh, is pretty offensive, and the other half is, like, um, incredibly, like, a totally different pace, which will be interesting to see. Because, uh, like, Tyranitar and Excadrill are very, very oppressive offensive threats, but then you have, like, Mandibuzz, uh, Quagsire, Dusclops, which are much slower paced. So it'll be interesting to see all those mix. Um, not to say Mandibuzz is useful. Mandibuzz will be incredibly useful no matter where it is. Um, but I do kind of like, I, I'm sort of liking the look of your team. I like the Bronzong along with the Excadrill. Like, yeah, I think, I think, I think it's overall it's, it's a general pleasing appearance besides the Dusclops. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong right, right with Dusclops? Also, I, yeah, you know what? I've never had love for that Pokemon. I, I just like in, in Ruby and Sapphire playing what's her name like Flora, oh, or like, the, the Hawaiian girl. And, like, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. no, I think the Ros your, again also your lower tier picks are pretty smart. Like Rosalia gets spikes, toxic spikes, Ice Cube, of course, you like that. Uh, Dustclops is like, I mean, it's useful. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. And Rotom Fan's not bad either. I think he did a very good job with their low picks too. After, I appreciate uh, after that. realizing Ice Cube, yeah. you know, Ice Cube gets a roar veil too. Not many people know that. Does it really? Oh, wow. yeah. big. Yeah, huge. Uh, huge. <laughs> your stand team. Yeah, exactly. Huge. Huge. <laughs> huge. <laughs> I, 
I was waiting for someone to notice that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Any other? Th Wait. Actually, what I was, I was gonna say. Did anyone ever play Pokemon Pinball when they were little? Those tiny yeah. men didn't play oh, Pokemon Pinball. Yeah. So you know that level with the dust clops? It was like one of the boss levels. Oh yeah. Those are all familiar. Hey, I, I wouldn't remember. Yeah. That made me hate dust clops. I was. I was in bunk bed playing that game. I remember that. I remember playing that game in the top bunk. Oh, good time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. So uh, let's move on to the London Lanterns um, and Dion. So Dion drafted Zera Aura, Milotic, Copperaja, Drapion, Hitmontop, Roserade, Lantern, Mascot, Dust Noir, Colossal, and Siglyph. Why don't you talk about your team, Dion? Yeah, no worries, yeah. Um, basically my first pick, well, I know Dragapult was going to go early, so I wanted another Pokemon that had like really good versatility and some really good speed. And Zero would basically fill that in. I remember Steven had it last season, it was really good for him. So I like to look at that. And then, going into actually Tier 2, I was actually considering getting Milotic and Arcanine. But then, um, well, then I was like, you know what, maybe I'll go for Incident on but then that got sniped from me, so that plan went. What's up? <laughs> I, I mean, Zero Aura is just a fantastic Pokemon. I believe it is the fastest Pokemon, right? It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, besides, yeah. maybe it's Salvor's faster. I don't know. Oh yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah. fastest Pokemon drafted anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, no. And you know, it gets a lot of coverage. It can it can bulk up, uh, and then Plasma Fist is just one of the coolest animations ever. So, not that that matters on Showdown. Right, yeah, the fist that kind of misses the upper <laughs> yeah, 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 it's so bad. Really solid. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. It looks like it misses every time. It does, yeah. It, it literally, like, it, like, you get a little twinge in the back of your mind when you see it happen. <laughs> yeah. The only but, thing I um, will say about your team is it's a little bit ground weak. You do have Siglyph. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Another thing as well I noticed, I don't have any dragons or fairies. I don't have a dragon either, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm missing a fairy, yeah. You might want to drop Lantern, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it's funny, it's funny, there was another Pokemon I was thinking of getting, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> when, when is Lantern coming and Milotic's not? I don't know, just in case someone's expecting my look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Lantern, they'll be like, what? I mean, I guess they kind of work Dude, together. Was... They, they work together, kind of. That's funny, because I was considering drafting Lantern as a Zero Aura counter, but... <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I drafted. No. Keep it away yeah, no. from That's, that's, that's yeah, no. how you should draft. Draft one Pokemon and then draft all of its counters. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I like uh, Zero Aura will, will do a lot. Yeah, Zero Aura will do a lot. Yeah. Copperaja, also, I, lo I mean, I love Copperaja, so... Does ha yeah, heavy heavy slam hits pretty hard with Cobra Rider, right? Yeah. Or like all those weight based moves. Crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he crashed like heavy slam. Yeah, the, the things that make them amazing. These power whips, Stone Edge, play rough. Like, oh. Oh my god. You yeah. got a couple of T spike setters and you mm -hmm. can get all the hazards up. So, yeah, I like your team. 100%. <laughs> all right, finally, let's go to uh, Matt, the coach of the Toledo team Rockets. Matt drafted Necrozma, Cabalion, Savali, Appleton. Uh, Alola Ninetales, Quillfish, Rabidash, Cramorant, Beartick, and Toxtricity. How do you feel, Matt? How do you feel? <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good personally, but also, like, I'm just, I don't know. I was excited to do this draft again. It's been a while. Yeah, um, I feel that. It's been, uh, but, uh, so my first two picks, this is actually exactly, I mean, I was definitely, like, 100% going to pick the Crossbow. Like, it's just my favorite thing. I don't think I've ever had as much fun playing with a Pokemon as I did in the Crosmo season. Um, just starting it off with the Electric Seed set on Nihal. Um, and then it just, oh like, God. everything was, like, a different set every week. Yeah. Different way to sweep people. Um, and this is actually, the Crosmo and Cabalion is exactly how um, MVs draft went into the APA, which is kind of funny. Um, but Cabalion <laughs> and Necrozma have, like, really good sim um, synergy together. Um... Cabalion can, you know, set up hazards for it. It can, it can actually. I mean, it has Sword Dance on its own. It has a good enough. It has a good enough speed tier that it's not like slow. But if you like min speed investment, you can get a slow bolt switch pivot into Necrozma. Um, as well as the fact that um, if you try and it resists bug types that are super effective against Necrozma and um, Justified, obviously gets the boost if you try and hit Necrozma with Dark type moves. 
Um, and then my general, like, how I've been doing draft stuff uh, is just a lot of, like, I don't know, a lot of unpredictability for different sets. Mm -hmm. So, like, Necrozma can do, like, sweep four to five different ways and get Dragon Dance now for some reason. Vaughn can Wait, um, Dragon Dance. Set up rocks. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Uh, Stand the lead. <laughs> for some reason, it's um, too late to ban Pokemon. <laughs> 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 this thing was like your this thing was like whatever and you before, and none of you got. And then, like halfway through season, someone's like, "Okay, we're literally." If we make no other tiering decisions, we're gonna make sure Necrozma's OUA. Whatever. <laughs> um, but then you've got Savali, which again can do like. 40 different things. It can be whatever type it can. It has Swords Dance. It's got 95 is a good speed tier in mm -hmm. this current meta. Um, it can do Parting Shot. It can Defog. It can do all kinds of random stuff. Uh, that, yeah, that's a Pokemon that was really thing. helped by Pokemon Home. Um, yeah, so. exactly. Sorry, go ahead. Um, no, Appleton is weirdly bulky. Like, people don't realize it because it just looked derpy as hell, but it is, it's got some bulk to it. Uh, which I like. I don't have like a ton of bulk on my team, but it can definitely it can definitely tank some hits that you would, might not necessarily be expecting. And then I kind of went like a weird like a couple of ice types. So I've got uh, Nine Tails and Bear Tick. Obviously, Bear Tick has the Slush Rush, another way of sweeping people that they might not necessarily be planning for, depending on how much they focus on the other. Uh, I've got Bullfish, Rapidash. Which helped fill out a fire, water, grass core. So I've got a fire, water, grass, and a dragon, fairy, steel core, if you include all in there, I guess. Depending on how I run it. Um, and then toxicity, which hits just really hard. I... Um, it's really... Go ahead. It's, uh... It's, it's so, it was, it's, it's you, you right now in the actual Smogon meta, but, uh... Every, I'm kind of waiting to see it. I think it might come back up once Dugtrio is gone, because Dugtrio has kind of mm. been... Like, it's kind of a menace to toxicity for obvious reasons. Yeah, that like boom burst that it runs is. I am, I am not excited to try to kill the crossbow behind Aurora Vale. Oh yeah, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things you guys are just not going to enjoy killing. Well, look at his team. He's got Quillfish to like send out spikes and toxic spikes. He's yeah, got um, yeah. Nine Tails to like set up for the sweep, and he's got what? He's got like Bear Tick, which gets Slush Rush first of all. Toxicity, which can set up with Shift Gear. Um, the Crosma can set up. He has like a very very nice like his, his team can take a lot of shapes, and he can be super offensive, but also take a more defensive route. Like I, I do, I do like the diversity in your team. Man. It's yeah. That's, that's what I'm all about. I think honestly, I this might be the best team. Um, I think it is the best. Team. I mean, I might just, I might just mess it up by like trolling and trying thirty different sets, of things, and I'm definitely gonna bring Bear Tick way more than I should. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, Slush Rush is such a great name for an ability. I love this name more. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's such a good name. It's also just terrifying to like think about that bear running at. You. <laughs> I know. Right. It's somehow faster because it's snowing out. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone else is slower, but it's adapted to running in the snow. Ah. He's sure, just, we'll go he's with just, that. He's just, he's just riding a sleigh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I'm just honestly, I'm just looking at your team right now, and I'm like, how, how did this happen again? But <laughs> <laughs> how did we let this happen? <laughs> I how many picks one before you three? And I have to play you yeah. twice. God damn it. Yeah. And I always wait. I always, I always draft things to the point where my last pick is always like a random. Like people don't realize that I have. Oh, I have like 120 points. Left. <laughs> right. So yeah. My last pick is always like, oh shit. They also get that. Yeah. No. That makes. So is there a reason you that, do that though? Th th I, I was. I'm. Gonna... I mean, so originally I was planning on doing so doing this, except for doing most of those tier um, fives as tier fours, and I was like, well, I'm gonna get bear tick anyways. Gotcha. I don't think anyone's. It's not in like high demand. So then I kind of upped my uh, tier, like changed a bunch of my tier fours that I had planned to tier five, and I was like, well, I can get a hundred now. So I kind of like looked through, and I'm like, you know what? There's a couple good ones right there. Right, that makes sense. Honestly, yeah, I, I, mean, I almost. Oh, go ahead, Jared. Oh, I was gonna say like it's kind of crazy. Like with that strategy, like you literally could have gone 
I think you could have gone in reverse in this draft, like started with your tier five picks and then worked your way up to your tier ones, and you still could have ended up with like a really good team because there are just <laughs> things still sitting there. I mean, like Hydreigon, Halucha, yeah, you, uh, like, like you is there, yeah. Dracovish, all sitting in Cinderace. tier one. Cinderace. Yeah, well, honestly, there are a lot of ones I'm very surprised that didn't go. Yeah, I guess so it's like there's only so many spots though. That's the thing. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, every yeah. team can get to. to Tier ones, right. and yeah. there are a lot more than one and a half times eight tier ones. So right, and so, so you can even like... pick it thinking about like what the people in your conference are going to be running. Right. Honestly, yeah. I, I think it's on a, it's a, it's a good strategy because your team just looks so much menacing, much more menacing ending with a one hundred for some reason. Like, <laughs> no, it's true. You're like going through your team, you're like, okay, I could deal with this. Like, there's toxicity. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you don't even look that far now. <laughs> yep. That one, uh, the one draft where where Richie picked Garchomp like the last round. I was thinking about oh yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, Richie's Tell team's kind of lame, huh? <laughs> 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 um, but also, I think, so we definitely, like, did restrict a lot of, like, like tier 1 significantly by our point totals. We might have overshot it just a smidge, based on, like, what normal draft teams, but also definitely, like, like that we've done this way rather than previous years, where it's, like, you definitely have room to pretty easily fit in, like, I agree. Yeah. Pokemon from OU. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. excited to have games that aren't just like slightly, slightly games. Right. Right. Yeah, I think I think 940 is like a legitimate. That should yeah. Could have could have been a legitimate point total as yeah. well just because yeah. it would have kept you from like bumping one of your tier twos up to a tier one, but it still would have given you the extra points to like not draft five tier fives. Right. Uh, but you know it. I I still think it'll be fun, and I think it'll I think it will be fun that more of us have some kind of like some stinkers. I, that, yeah, I think it'll like, be a lot of fun. Seabum. I think yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, I mean, yeah. just looking. I mean, every tier one Pokemon's good. Gothitelle should not be in tier one. That's a mistake. I'm surprised no one noticed <laughs> that. But um, I don't think anyone without it without um Shadow Tag. I don't think anyone. It wouldn't would have gone. Yeah. Much anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just so many good Pokemon. I mean, even tier two. Like, there's just a lot of good Pokemon there too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, um, yeah. I think the free agency picks are going to be a big. Yeah. Player. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. I think oh I'll, my god. I'll... Did any of you really... Let's... I'll, I'll let you guys figure out what I'm thinking about. But <laughs> No, no, but to be real, like, Bisharp's still there. I'm shocked. Yeah, I was, I, I was honest, actually... I was... Yeah, I was actually considering it, but then I just went for Cook Project because I wanted so, to... Yeah, exactly. I think, do you remember when I literally asked, I was like, should I go heavy on... 